It runs from the city of West all the way down to the city of Salado. And tonight, 25 Investigates shows us how the highway that connects all Central Texans to businesses, universities, homes, churches, restaurants, sporting events, and charity organizations is also a major pipeline to the largest drug cartels that operate out of Mexico. Of course, we're talking about I-35 and 25 Investigates Joe Gum joins us now. Yeah, Lindsay, it's a very popular path, the way that everyone we know uses every single day. And tonight we shine a spotlight on law enforcement's daily fight against the illegal activity from the life vein of our daily commute. There's 300 ads just in the last 24 hours off the I-35 corridor for sex. Sex, drugs and guns. All major money makers for traffickers operating in Central Texas using I-35 as their backdrop to their criminal activity. Susan Peters, Executive Director of Unbound. Human trafficking is a big money maker. And so people who normally trade arms or drugs, they are turning to also human trafficking because drugs or guns you can sell one time, but a human being you can sell over and over again. And it's happening in Central Texas. From January 4th of this year until February 4th, 51,503 sex ads were placed online along the I-35 corridor. A problem, says Emily Mills, founder of the organization Jesus Said Love, that is fueled by those working in the sex trade. 40% of strip clubs in Texas are along the I-35 corridor. So when we started this ministry 16 years ago, we started just by going into strip clubs. We had no idea what we were going to be encountering there. We didn't understand kind of the nuance between stripping and prostitution and human trafficking. So Waco's really strategic along this corridor. Not just strategic in how smugglers and traffickers transport drugs, guns, and money from the border of Mexico, but how local distributors go to great lengths to help those from outside the I-35 pipeline. So just in 2019 alone, uh, the Street Crimes Unit conducted uh, several uh, operations like that where they were able to not only get drugs, but also uh, money that was being transported back. Uh, they were able to find uh, just a vast number of wanted uh, individuals from uh, surrounding communities uh, or even surrounding states. And part of that organized crime by individuals from surrounding communities moving human trafficking victims from city to city in order to get more buyers. It's not by accident that human trafficking has become the fastest growing criminal industry in the world with more than 40 million victims worldwide impacted. But that's not the only concern. They have to have this means to get their drugs from the border all the way to Dallas, uh, Oklahoma, Kansas on up. So it is a thoroughfare for the narcotics trade, unfortunately, but it's very valuable to them. According to the National Drug Intelligence Center, I-35 is one of eight drug transportation corridors in the U.S. And in Central Texas, that keeps DPS troopers busy monitoring 70 miles of highway that stretches from west to Salado. DPS Sergeant Brian Washko says for those running that route, it's about blending in. People ask what a drug courier looks like, and on television they have a certain look, but in real life they look like your local librarian. They look like somebody's grandparents in an RV traveling, a uh, construction worker. They'll be disguised as a business person, man or woman, and, um, or even a student. Of course, criminal activity doesn't stop with just drug operations on I-35. Waco Police Chief Ryan Holt believes the smuggling operations are linked to more dangerous elements. Certainly organized crime uses the narcotics trade to fund some of their other illegal activities and some of those other illegal activities can be both uh, labor trafficking, can be sex trafficking, can be human smuggling operations. And so that's really the tie in there with organized crime. These wanted individuals in local Central Texas communities have become smarter in the way they distribute off I-35, making opioids like hydrocodone, oxycodone, and morphine more popular on the street. A problem, according to Congressman Bill Flores, lawmakers in Washington, D.C. have noticed. Well, we've done a lot when it comes to human trafficking. As far as the drug trade, uh, we still continue to need to work with the states to let them know that the fact when you legalize certain categories of drugs, uh, that you are putting more pressure uh, on the system by increasing demand. The harder the criminals work, the harder law enforcement will continue to battle against criminal activity pouring into Central Texas. The goal? To disrupt the criminal elements that are operating on I-35 and beyond, 
while also keeping families safe and secure. We get a lot of tips. We get we solve crimes because our good citizens are observant. And if something doesn't look right, it's probably not. And that's what we tell them. Well, you heard it right there, Sheriff McNamara, pleading for tips from citizens who are looking out for the criminal element, trying to seep into the fabric of Central Texas families. Now, several officials ended up telling 25 Investigates two things. Citizens are the eyes and ears of law enforcement, so if you see something, say something. Secondly, they discover a lot of criminal movement from routine traffic stops, a swerving car into another lane, a taillight out, someone looking suspicious and nervous at a gas station. And Lindsay, it's not just gas stations, it's hotels, it's uh, malls, it's uh, you know side parking lots, movie theaters, open car lots, places where these guys go and these traffickers, they'll stop, they'll get gas, they'll air up tires, stuff like that. Again, law enforcement saying that citizens, they need to be aware and if they see something, report it immediately because they're getting yeah. these stops again, just, you know, uh, swerved differently or went out the side of the lane or right. they had a flat tire and then they discover the, uh, the transport, the drugs. Right. It certainly is dangerous. We should all be keeping an eye out. Joe. No doubt about it. Eye opening. Thank you.